Hey everyone, I'm Rachel Van Aken, and I'm a UX designer here at Subsplash. I'm going to be walking you through a new feature, which is donation entry. This is where you can come to log your cash and checks in the same spot as your online giving, helping you create your giving source of truth so you don't need another system for cash and checks or sending accurate end of your statements. So let's just get right into it. I am on the batches page now, and here we have active batches. And if I scroll down, I can see some committed batches as well. Um, if you're not familiar, think of a batch kind of like a digital envelope full of my fashion checks. So let's start by creating a batch. Um, let's say a new demo batch. Once I save that, I'm inside my new batch. And I don't see any gifts yet because I haven't added any. So let's just get right into adding a new gift. Create gift. So now I have this modal pop-up with all these options. I'll start with my donor, let's say uh, Yoshi. And that list is all of my existing donors. Um, let's pick my campus, leave the fund and sub fund, um, cash, say $50. Okay, so now I can add my gift. I can also add another one right away if I want to. And here we have the gift I just added. I can also go back in here and edit this gift. Maybe I didn't want Yoshi. I wanted Tom, say Tom Sawyer. Um, so I will create a new donor. Since he wasn't in my list, I will create a new one. So Tom Sawyer, create my new donor. Now we can see he's existing in my donor list. He's populated here and I can assign this donation to him now. And maybe I didn't actually want a cash gift. Maybe he gave me a check for 50 bucks and his check number was 2112. So I'll save that and I'll see all my updates um, matching what I just changed on the gift. Okay, we can see that I'm back in my new demo badge now and there's a few more gifts, so I went and added a few more. Um, and what I want to show you is the gift and batch totals. So now we can see I have five gifts in here. You can also see my batch total, which is the total amount of all the money I added. This is nice because I can count the cash or checks in front of me and make sure I entered everything correctly. And like I showed you the edits, I can go back and change something if I need to. So once all of this looks good, I will go ahead and commit my batch. Essentially committing means that I don't want to add anything else right now. I'm good to go and I'm probably gonna take this money to the bank, um, things like that. So I will go ahead and commit this batch. We can see now it was committed and it's in our committed list over here. Okay, now I'm gonna go back into my new demo batch and I can't add any new gifts to this since it's committed, but what I can do is edit um, and make adjustments to existing gifts in here. So let's go to this one, um, maybe Tim's check bounce. I want to mark this as failed. I can do that and save it. Over here we see that adjustment. Um, or maybe it wasn't supposed to be 130, it was supposed to be 13. So we can save that. So we have this adjustment history now and we see the updates I just made along with my name as well as the date that I made them. Just so we have that accountability and we can see um, who's making changes and make sure everything is how it should be. And that is all I have for you today, but stay tuned because we'll be adding more features to donation entry soon.